Did you know that there is a surprising connection between mental health and sexually transmitted infections? Let's dive into how these two critical aspects of health intersect and what can you do about it. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Abhishek, a specialist pharmacist in HIV and sexual health. In today's video, we'll explore why individuals with mental health challenges might face higher risks of STIs and how addressing mental health can also also help prevent these diseases. Mental health disorders among young adults have skyrocketed in recent years. According to a study published in the American Journal of Public Health, folks dealing with mental health issues are two to four times more likely to contract an STI compared to those without these challenges. Also, a survey by the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration reveals that individuals with mental illnesses are more likely to engage in risky sexual behaviors, including having multiple sexual partners and unprotected sex. These aren't just statistics, it's a wake-up call. Mental health disorders have surged among young adults, making this topic more relevant than ever. But why does this happen? Let's unpack the reasons together. When someone is grappling with depression, anxiety, or low self-worth, they might not always make the safest choices. They are more likely to engage in unprotected sex, perhaps have multiple partners, or even turn to substances like drugs and alcohol that could cloud their judgment. Drugs and alcohol are themselves risk factors for anxiety and depressive disorders, and hence the vicious cycle continues. All of this happens because the tools and support they need to manage their mental health might be out of reach or they are just not in a place to make the best decisions for their health. And then there is stigma surrounding mental health. Stigma prevents individuals from seeking proper healthcare including regular STI testing and treatment. Think about it. Depression can sap the energy needed to seek help, leaving one feeling too hopeless to act. Anxiety might trigger fear of judgment, deterring someone from visiting a clinic. And low self-worth can convince someone that they don't deserve care or their issues aren't just serious enough to address. These mental health challenges can perpetuate a harmful cycle where stigma blocks crucial healthcare, worsening both mental and physical health. This then leads to undiagnosed and untreated infections, putting not only their own health at risk, but also that of their sexual partners. Let's now look at some shocking statistics. According to World Health Organization, stigma and discrimination are major barriers to seeking mental health treatment, with up to 80% of people in low- and middle-income countries not receiving the care they need. These issues are critical, as mental health remains one of the most neglected areas of public health globally, with nearly 1 billion people living with mental health disorders and facing various barriers that limit access to care. However, there is hope. Taking charge of your mental health is a powerful step towards preventing STIs. Integrating mental health care with regular health routines like safe sex practices and regular checkups can make a huge difference. Interestingly, research from the Journal of Consulting and Clinical Psychology reveals that cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT can greatly reduce risky sexual behaviors among those with mental health challenges. Additionally, taking regular breaks from your phones and social media, doing activities in nature, and connecting personally with friends and family can further enhance mental well-being and support a healthier lifestyle. Remember, taking care of your mental health is just as important as taking care of your physical health. Together, we can dismantle the stigma and put our well-beings first. So, if you or someone you know who is facing mental health challenges, remember, seeking help is a sign of strength and not weakness. Numerous resources are available to guide you, including free CBT options like Mood Gym and eCouch. That's it for today, folks, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this. Together, we can raise awareness, break stigma, and create a healthier, more supportive community. Until next time, stay safe, folks.